How Casinos Keep Their Money Safe In the old days, casinos simply hired muscle watches after the owner's millions. These days, casino security folks are considered important members of a casino's floor team. Because it's a dynamic and demanding job, casino security has become a true career. Casinos offer competitive salaries and benefits, so they can hire people who are mentally and physically fit. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel today. We will be discussing how casinos keep their money safe. Casino Security In today's massive casinos, five-star hotels merge with gargantuan, themed buildings encompassing entire city blocks and housing restaurants, bars, theaters, nightclubs, gaming tables, slot machines, ATMs, snack bars, gift shops, and even the occasional theme park. A casino security division, therefore, must function much like the police department of an entire town. The modern casino should be a carefree setting where you can forget about your problems, spend money, and perhaps earn it back. Even though winning isn't always possible, you should be able to bet in a secure setting. Unfortunately, predators of society concentrate where innocent, naive, and trusting individuals assemble in large numbers, surrounded by vast sums of disposable wealth. Thieves are on the lookout for methods to rob you or the casinos of your hard-earned money. Finally, we are all accountable for our own casino security. Casinos should be expected to have operational security. We determine whether the casino's security is adequate, and if not, we seek out another casino with adequate security. Gambling is a money-making venture. When playing slot machines in a casino, players are required to carry some cash, i.e. their bankroll. They may have driven in a nearby parking structure and taken the elevator to the casino door with this cash in their pocket. Perhaps they didn't bring cash to the casino and instead took money from an ATM on the premises. However, there was a time and distance across which a player was carrying cash when they arrived at the casino floor with their bankroll. Casinos, on the other hand, work extremely hard to offer the safest possible environment for patrons who choose to gamble in their facility. But how do you do it? Consider what happens if you win a taxable lottery. Players have the option of receiving a check or a mix of check and cash. Individual and family safety are unquestionably vital to you. It's particularly vital for casinos because a crime committed against a casino customer has equally terrible ramifications for the casino. Loss of reputation and income are two potential consequences for a casino. This can happen to a patron or a group of patrons involved in an altercation. If or when the incident is made public, damage might be done to the patrons as a whole. Incidents are made public through a variety of means, including news coverage, word of mouth, and perhaps gaming regulation obligations. As a result, casinos work relentlessly to ensure the highest level of security. Having adequate security is one of the most crucial parts of running a casino. This is owing to the lucrative amount of transactions that occur every day within the venue. But what exactly does casino security entail? Why so secure? Security is an important aspect of casino management since it ensures the safety of the casino's money, property, personnel, and players. Because of the vast quantity of money that passes through the casino and is stored on site at the casino every day, the risk of crime, theft, and inappropriate behavior is higher on the grounds of casinos than on other retail premises. Back in the day, a casino's security consisted of a few burly security personnel who were on hand to deal with any problems that arose. Catwalks were also installed above the casino floor, allowing security personnel to walk the length and breadth of the floor at ceiling level, keeping an eye on the action. However, as the industry grew more successful and more money poured into casinos, it became evident that better technology and methods to combat criminality were essential. What security systems are put in place at casinos? In today's world, casinos have a physical team of trained security personnel, as well as a state-of-the-art closed-circuit television system. CCTV. The physical staff can handle any situation that arises on the casino floor and respond quickly. The CCTV serves as an eye in the sky that can spot more subtle attempts to contravene the casino's rules. A casino on the Las Vegas Strip, such as the MGM Grand, is likely to have over 2,000 cameras connected to more than 50 monitors, all of which are being watched and studied by a lot of people. Other systems have been deployed in casinos around the world as technology has progressed. These range from low-key ID verification scans to more sophisticated facial recognition technologies that assist casinos in identifying any blacklisted or questionable individuals who have entered their premises. Exclusion lists are in existence in some casinos. Casinos are putting themselves in legal and financial danger 
if they allow a player who should be on an exclusion list to play at their tables, whether on their own volition or at the request of a third party. As a result, it's critical to keep the exclusion list and those on it up to date. Failure to do so could result in a fine or the revocation of the casino's gambling license. Casinos employ a strange security strategy that is significantly more passive. I'm just waiting and watching. Cage takeovers by armed guards can be unnerving. One could expect a casino's first response to be a quick security response. Casinos, on the other hand, will defer security. They'll utilize their digital gear to capture as much footage of the action and the people involved as possible. Then let the conspirators flee. Why? The casino is well aware that a confrontation is more likely to end in violence, which is not in the best interests of the casino's employees or customers. As soon as the criminals depart the premises, security will be activated. The perpetrators are usually tracked down using CCTV and eyewitness testimony, as well as the suspects spending patterns in behavior, which can often be traced because the stolen chips or cash are marked and linked to the casino. How much money does a casino keep on site? This is one of those topics where the answer is entirely dependent on the laws and regulations of the jurisdiction in which the casino operates. The Nevada Gaming Commission, for example, mandates that a casino maintain enough cash on hand to cover every chip in play on its casino floor. This figure varies based on the day of the week in the year. On a typical weekday, the top loss Vegas casinos like the Bellagio and Caesars Palace will be trying to hold up to $70 million in bets. On a weekend, this sum approaches $100 million. However, for major events such as sporting events, spring break, or March Madness, this sum can rise to around $150 million. It goes without saying that this sum is lower for smaller casinos, but even the tiniest of companies would want to retain at least $20 million on hand. How do casinos store their money? A casino's money can be found in two different forms. Chips and cash are on the table. The chips are being exchanged all around the casino floor. These chips are being followed. This ensures that any chips used in an attempted robbery will be identified whether they are used at the casino or elsewhere in the future. The casino's cash reserves are kept in a series of safes in the vaults. You've probably seen a classic Hollywood film like Ocean's Eleven, in which a narrative hinges around breaking into one of these vaults and taking the money within. The film merely provides you a glimmer of the level of protection put in place to keep these assets safe from theft. Every casino ensures that their vaults are of high technology, because every cash should stay safe. This money is what they work for. So casinos really invest in their vaults and safes. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video. Do hit the like button down there. Comment down your views and do share with more of your friends. See ya. Take care.